Hi everybody. So uh, welcome to the sewing class. I am so excited to have you all and we're gonna jump in with how to prep the pattern pieces. So when you start the class with me, this is already gonna be done for you. But my hope is that you will fall in love with sewing uh, your own clothes using PDF patterns and so then you'll need to know how to do this for the future and you can refer back, back to this video. So I've already kind of got started here um, with the first row. Each pattern piece has a number in a box and they go in order across the top, 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, and so on. And then once you start seeing the number two, you're gonna move down to the row below that. Um, one thing that you need to do whenever you print off your patterns, regardless of what company that it is, is you're gonna start out with, you have this one inch square, sometimes it's a two inch square, but you need to measure that to make sure that your pattern printed correctly. So I'm just measuring a top here, that is one inch. And then I'm gonna measure across the side and it is also one inch. So I'm good to go, I can keep taping these together. If you ever print out a pattern and you measure that and it's not the correct size, like if it says one inch square, if it's not right at one inch, you need to reprint because what probably happened is it scaled it down and maybe fit it to the page. And so then every single bit of your pattern is gonna be a little bit smaller than it should have been. And something like an eighth of an inch over and over and over again across the course of a pattern could actually make a very big difference. So it might seem like a small amount, but over the course of the project, it's gonna be a big deal, okay? So what I've done so far is I've just lined up the diagonal lines at the top of the pattern and the bottom and uh, the solid line right here. So I've got one E, now I need to do one F. It's gonna go right next to it. And so I just want these to overlap. Now if you really get into doing patterns, then you may wanna get a light box so that you can have the light shining from behind here. It makes it easier for you to see if your lines, your diagonal lines are lined up, but really you can do it with the naked eye without a light box. Another thing you can do is you can look and make sure that there's a, a line, like my red line out here lines up with the red line as it crosses over, okay? So all of row one is done now. And so my next pattern piece is 2A. I'm not gonna do this whole thing in front of you because that would take a long time. But what you do when you start seeing a two is you just know that that's gonna go in the A row. 2A is gonna go under 1A. And so on this one, I'm gonna line up over here and in the middle. So I should have what is similar to a full box or diamond in the middle area, okay? And I prefer using scotch tape to tape my patterns together. You can use a glue stick, like if you wanted to put a little dab of glue right here and right here, you can do that. I have found that over time, the glue starts to lose its stickiness and kind of dries out. And sometimes those pages, if you're rolling them up or if you're folding up your pattern piece, can't they can start coming apart, okay? So I'm gonna stop here on the video and I will completely get this put together and you will see it in its full state when you are in the first night of the class.